Hey, it's Pierre. I am starting a review of these decathlon grips. Thanks to Hannah from Decathlon for sending me these grips to review. I haven't tried them yet. They're still in the package. I just wanted to kind of take this intro and then I'm going to play with them over the next few weeks and give you my feedback. This one's called the Tacky Overgrip. Three colors. We've got the Absorb grip. Uh, that's a, the, the first ones were overgrips. This is a replacement grip. I'm hoping this one might be my, my favorite based on the word absorb, but we'll see. And the tacky uh, grip, which is a, also a replacement grip. So I'm going to be giving these a try and we'll do a roundup video once I've reviewed them all. Thanks a lot. I have been testing out the decathlon tacky overgrips and I have some feedback for you this comes in a few different colors black the one I tested white and I guess sort of this greenish yellow kind um, this is an overgrip goes over top of the stock grip and it said it's called the tacky grip um, I did not find it to be that tacky um, it's pretty thin and it's got some grip grippy kind of dots there or tango um, that's the decathlon racket brand um, it was pretty thin which i actually kind of liked uh, thinner than the one i've been using and so the racket felt um, kind of a little different and if you like a thin grip or you want to try that uh, that was pretty cool um, it as it was not that tacky which i'm okay with i don't i don't actually usually like a tacky grip what I need is an absorbent grip. That's my personal preference. And this was, I, I need a very absorbent grip. This was not absorbent enough for me. So I'm gonna be trying out um, one of their other grips on the, uh, on the absorbency side. Uh, I like the, the colors of them. And, um, and so, you know, give them a shot. Oh, actually, there was a little bit of a problem. I'm actually gonna grip this one and see if the same thing happened which was, there was like some dust in it or something. Let's see if this, I'm gonna use this, this green one here. I've got the little sticky tape here. Put it here, I hope I don't run out of batteries on my video here, it's getting close. Okay, so this, this comes out, and I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera. You can see my fingerprints there. There's some dust on the grip, and so it comes through there's a little sticky tape here which you remove and then you got the um, this actually has i actually kind of like that to help you get that cover off plastic cover thing all right so you start with a little bit of sticky tape on the end there and you follow the um the cutout sort of Part as it expands until you get to that that corner there and then you start working your way in got the artengo decathlon sticky tape and i'm gonna go ahead with that there we go so that's the uh, greenish yellow one in action. It looks pretty good with those strings and this, this color scheme. And uh, just like that, that little dusty stuff, it only lasted for, it's already sort of gone. So, and it didn't really affect me, but the bigger problem with this for me personally was the sweat absorption. So there you go. That was the Artengo Tacky Overgrip. Okay, so the next grip in the Artengo Grips Review is called the absorb grip this is a replacement grip this was it's called absorb so i kind of assumed all right maybe this will be a little bit more absorbent and it was i preferred it over the over grip so this i took you take for a replacement grip you take off the stock grip from the factory and you put this on instead it's a little thicker than the stock factory grip which um, was actually kind of nice change of pace got a little bit of put a little bit of squeeze on it in the way the factory grip didn't have it's got a little cushioning that is um, the, as far as the performance 
in terms of sweat absorption, it was, um, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I played with it in a league match and I felt comfortable enough to play this match and it was, uh, it was a close match, it was a four game match. And so I felt com comfortable enough in it, although I was still feeling a little bit of slippage down at the end of the grip there. Uh, so so it, if you're like me and you have, um, if you're looking for something that's really absorbent, uh, this is possibly not enough for you. Uh, but I thought it was, but I did think it was pretty good absorbency and a comfortable grip. So that is the Artengo Absorb replacement grip. So I have the final review of the Artengo Decathlon grips. This is the Tacky replacement grip. I, I found this to be quite similar to the Tacky Overgrip. And it, it looks a little bit different if I try and examine the dots, but on the whole, it felt about the same. It was not enough for me personally in terms of absorbency. I like something that I need something that is very absorbent. So of the three grips, I preferred the absorb replacement grip. And, but on the whole, it was still a comfortable, it was a comfortable grip to play with. It was just once, once things got uh, sweaty, then I started to lose, lose a little bit of grip. But if you, are, you don't have that particular uh, need, then, then I think these will be a good option. The, I put this on pretty tightly, I guess you could say. There was a lot of, I could have made this a much thicker grip, but I purposely kept it kind of kind of thin and I, there was some extra, I didn't have scissors with me. So I, uh, I just ripped it off there in order to get it to, get it to fit, but you could, so it ended up on the thinner side, almost like a stock factory grip thickness, but you could do it to this thickness or you could wrap it a little tighter if you like it to be bulkier. So thanks again to, uh, to Hanna from Decathlon for sending me these grips to review. I appreciate it and hopefully, hopefully that was helpful. Check them out. Thanks. Thank you.